uh, we are going to solve this problem a synchronous motor is running idle on an infinite bus at its rated voltage and frequency it is excited to have an induced voltage of 125 percent and its synchronous impedance is 1 plus j 20 percent we have to calculate the stator current that is ia and in the next part we have to calculate the stator current phase with respect to the bus voltage that is we have to find out the phase difference between the bus voltage and the stator current according to this problem we can draw this figure in this figure you can see the infinite bus and this motor is connected to the infinite bus at rated voltage this motor is connected to the infinite bus at rated voltage the meaning of the rated voltage in per unit is 1 per unit so you can say that the magnitude of the voltage of the infinite bus is 1 per unit in solving the problem in solving such problems we always take the terminal voltage of the motor as a reference because I have taken the terminal vol voltage as a reference voltage that's why I have taken this angle 0 degrees in the phasor form the bus voltage is 1 angle 0 per unit The motor is excited to have, have an induced voltage of 125%. It means the magnitude of the excitation voltage is 1.25 per unit. If you convert the per, uh, percentage value into the per unit value, you will get 1.25 per unit. The synchronous impedance in percentage value is given which is 1 plus j 20 percent if you convert the percentage value into the per unit value you will get the synchronous impedance as 0 0.01 plus j 0.2 per unit the synchronous impedance in the rectangular form is given here 0 0.01 plus j 0.2 per unit if you convert this rectangular form into the polar form you will get the magnitude of Zs and the angle of Zs. This Zs is the synchronous impedance and theta s is the synchronous impedance angle. So after converting this rectangular form into the polar form you will get the value of Zs equals to 0 0.20025 per unit and the synchronous impedance angle theta s equals to 87.14 degrees always remember in the case of synchronous motor this excitation EMF or excitation voltage or induced voltage lags with the terminal voltage this point is very very important the excitation voltage will always lag with the terminal voltage by an angle delta because this excitation EMF lags with the terminal voltage that's why I have written minus sign here in the phasor form the excitation voltage EF can be written as 1.25 angle minus delta so the information which is given to us is this we know the value of the terminal voltage V we know the excitation EMF magnitude 1.25 we don't know the value of Delta we know the synchronous impedance of the motor so you can write this equation IA you can write the equation to calculate the value of stator current which is this V minus EF upon Zs if you put all the values you will get this 1 angle 0 minus 1.25 angle minus delta divided by 0.20025 angle 87.14 degrees 
in the first part of the question we have to calculate the value of the stator current but if we do not know the value of delta we cannot find out the stator current so our first step will be to find out the value of the delta in the second step we will put the value of delta in this equation and we will get the stator current in the third step what we will do third step is very very easy we can easily find the phase difference between the terminal voltage V and IA and our question will be solved in this question it is written that the synchronous motor is running idle what is the meaning of running idle the meaning of the running idle is that there is no load at the shaft if there is no load at the shaft we can say that the power output the mechanical power output of the synchronous motor is zero if you see in this problem the rotational losses are not given if the rotational losses are not given in the problem then you can assume the rotational losses to be zero in the case of synchronous motor the power developed equals to power output plus rotational losses because the synchronous motor is running idle that's why the power output is zero and the losses are not specified in the problem therefore you can say there are no rotational losses so the power developed is equal to zero power developed equals to zero this is the real power developed in this question I am going to take the help of this information to calculate the value of delta see the problem is given in this manner and I can draw the second diagram in this way see I am going to derive the formula of the power developed so how to derive the formula of the power developed this is the real power developed you can easily write the equation for the complex power developed here the complex power developed is equal to EF IA conjugate put the value of EF here and you can say that this stator current IA is equal to V minus EF upon ZS so I have written all the values after solving this equation you will get this complex power developed equals to EF V upon ZS angle theta s minus delta minus EF square upon ZS theta s from this equation you can find out the equation of the real power developed which will be equal to EF V upon ZS cos theta s minus delta minus EF square upon ZS cos theta s because in the problem a statement is given the statement says that the real power developed in the synchronous motor is zero so you can put real power developed equals to zero after solving this equation you will get this equation in this equation you know the value of EF excitation voltage which is equal to 1.25 per unit the terminal voltage you know the terminal voltage is 1 per unit the value of theta s is 87.14 degrees we will calculate the value of delta the value of excitation emf is 1.25 
and the value of theta s is 87.14 degrees. So if you put all the values of the known quantities, you will get the value of delta. So here I have written all the values of the known quantities and easily I can calculate the value of delta which is equal to 0.72 degrees. So this was the first step. In the second step we will calculate the value of stator current, put all the values of V, E, F, delta and Z s you will get the value of the stator current which is equal to 1.25 angle 89.25 ampere. The phase angle between the terminal voltage and the stator current is 89.25 degrees and if you draw the phasor diagram you can say that the stator current is leading with respect to the terminal voltage. The terminal voltage is one angle zero so this is the terminal voltage and the stator current is this. This is 89.25 degrees. So stator current is leading with respect to terminal voltage. That's why I have written leading. You can find out the input power factor. But in the, in the second part of the question, the examiner is asking the phase angle between the terminal voltage and the stator current. So your answer will be 89.25 degrees leading. So in this way, we have solved this problem. To solve this problem, let me remind you again some key points. These are the key points to solve this problem. You should know that the rated volt is equal, equal to 1 per unit. The second key point is in the case of synchronous motor always the excitation voltage lags with respect to terminal voltage by an angle delta which is called load angle. So if you are writing the terminal voltage as V angle 0, you should write the excitation voltage as EF angle minus delta. The third key point is per unit value equals to percentage value upon 100. The fourth key point is if the motor is running idle then the mechanical power output will be zero. The fifth key point is if rotational losses are not given in the problem then assume the rotational losses to be zero. The sixth key point is always take the terminal voltage as a reference voltage that is the phase angle of the terminal voltage will be zero. The reference meaning the meaning of the reference is the phase angle of the terminal voltage will be zero. So these are the six key points according to me which you should know to solve this problem. So this question is complete here. I want to draw the phasor diagram of the synchronous motor corresponding to this problem although it is not asked by the examiner but my desire is to draw the phasor diagram. To draw the phasor diagram you can make the KVL equation. The KVL equation will be V equals to EF plus IA ZS. ZS can be written as RA plus J axis and by solving second equation you can get third equation and fourth equation. By taking the help of the fourth equation you can draw the phasor diagram. The fourth equation can be written in this way EF equals to V plus minus IARA plus minus J IA axis. Now first you should draw the reference voltage. This is the reference voltage which is the terminal voltage of the synchronous motor. Then draw the stator current 
which is leading by an angle 89.25 degrees you know that IARA will be in parallel with the stator current and JIA axis can be drawn in this way to draw minus IARA you should reverse the direction of IARA and to draw JIA axis just you have to reverse the direction of JIA axis so it will become minus JIA axis and you can match this equation with this phasor diagram see this is the terminal voltage plus minus IARA plus minus JIA axis equals to the excitation voltage EF the angle between the terminal voltage and the excitation voltage is delta which is 0 0.72 degrees and the phase angle between the stator current and the terminal voltage is 89.25 degrees this phasor diagram can be drawn in other way also to draw it these two phasor diagrams are same the phasor of minus IARA is shown in this direction you can show the phasor diagram of IARA in this way the phasor diagram of minus JIA axis is shown in this way so if you reverse the direction of the phasor minus JIA axis it will become plus JIA axis you can match this phasor diagram with equation number 3 see this equation EF this is EF phasor plus JIA axis plus IARA equals to the terminal voltage so in this way we have completed Uh, this question